Hey Libra, how are you? This is Mary Ellen coming to you from Moonrise Cottage. Thank you so much for stopping by. Be here to spin out your March reading about your love life, your life, your soul path. I'm specifically here to speak to all the folks who are working really diligently and have made a commitment uh, to be a light worker in whatever way that comes forward in your life. And it might just be a personal commitment. So my, my guides are talking about all the different professions that people have. It doesn't matter what you do. What matters is what you commit to. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to do an extended reading. It will be posted on my new Patreon page. I'm inviting everyone to come and uh, support the channel. I just started. I'm going to be building out over the next year. You can go to my Patreon page and look at all of the extended readings for every sign for a trifle of $3 a month uh, donation. So I would appreciate the love and support. All the links for me are below. You can go to my website, look at all the services I offer. There's a lot there, so go check it out for yourself. So Libra, here's what we're doing going forward in 2021. We're going to look into the swirl of all the energies that make up your life, your existence, your astrology, your destiny, etc. And look, that's the Eight of Wands. So, or, or pardon me, that is the Prince of Wands, the Knight of Wands. So you're going on some terrific adventure. You're feeling very passionate about it. In some way in your life, Libra, because of your energy, there's some kind of infinity moment coming forward. Looks like with a sacred partner. That's a 26. It adds up to eight. The guardian of the soul family. So there's something going on with you and your beloved. And with your energy. The way the universe is using your energy in the month of March. And because you're an air sign. Look, that's what's been happening astrologically. Let's see, that's a 20. So we're coming into balance with this incredible energy, all the tumultuousness of February. And there you are because you're a fabulous air sign standing in the full moon. And there are going to be two in the month. Well, the, the last day of February, there's a full moon in Virgo. And then the last day of March, there's a full moon in Virgo. And this is what you're going to be doing with the energies between those two points of reference that are both about healing. So all the energy that was spun up by all the conjunctions and all the squares and all the intensity of February, now you're going to bring them to balance because of your ability to work with the energy, the flow across the planet, across your life, really. Look at this. So these cards came out like this. They're both from the Animal Medicine deck. There's... A new beginning coming forward in terms of your dedication and your energy. How is it that you are going to be standing in your life? You have a desire inside of you. This is the animal medicine deck equation. Okay, not equation. That's the wrong word. Equivalent. Thank you, spirit. Of the guardian of the soul family. It's the same energy expressed in different form. So that you can look it in, into it a little more deeply. So the numerology adds up to a 10. A very new start. With the way your energy is used in this place, because you're a Libra, it is about balance. The sacred buffalo is about giving of yourself your energy in order to make sure that the tribe has sustenance, has what it needs, is able to survive through the hard times. And because of this part of your nature, here's what's going to come forward in March. It's going to evolve more deeply into whale medicine. And it's going to bring forward a massive change because that adds up to a five. There's something rising up from within you as the guardian of the soul family. I'm sorry, I've got a, this new display of how I'm doing it causes the glare to come off the window. So I'll figure that out eventually. But um, that's what we're going to be talking about in terms of your soul path and your life path and the spiritual feelings that you're having inside of you. And it is why you are the guardian of the soul family coming forward and flowing into the new part of your existence. I love that. Thank you, spirit. And look, while this great change is happening, this is the hanged man. In this beautiful triple goddess tarot, it is the flame of surrender. 
adds up to the sacred numeral three, celebration and change with the guides. So there's something happening about the way you are flowing into the next part of your existence. I'm getting corrected. It should be like that, right? So while you're doing that in the month of March, it's going to be like being the hanged man. So when that comes out, my guides always talk about the Norse tradition and the way the Norse traditions would look at the hanged man is the moment when Odin decided to hang himself upside down in a tree and pluck out his eye to get some kind of a sacred vision. It's not particularly for you in this month of March coming forward about being stuck. It's about being in a very sacred, taking your own sacred initiation to do that, basically. And so you go very deep within. So that's what we're going to talk about. And we'll see how it affects your love life. So you're, very, you're feeling very, very passionate about this, and you're going to rush in. There's probably something going on in your love life. The Knight of Wands does not show up unless there's passion in the mix. So the Knight of Wands is the topic of the reading. Let's see. Yeah, see? Knight of Wands is manifesting. Ooh, look at that. Thank you, Spirit. Manifesting what is meant to come forward. That's the Ace of Cups. Some of you are very much in love, have manifested your destiny in love, have made a commitment to somebody because of the love, the purest form of highly exalted love. And you are going to be flowing into that aspect of your life in March. All right, so we're going to put those aside for a moment. Spirit, can you tell us a little bit more about this adventure? So this is the theme of the reading. That's you. Standing in this beautiful cup of love, feeling somewhat in awe, I think. Look, it's spinning you up, Libra, those of you who are engaged with a sacred partner. And it is going to change you. Look. Look at that. Beautiful. The woman of art. This is a story about a woman. Page of Cups. Something very new coming forward. You're offering your cup of love to someone. And it is causing your life to transform. So we see the uh, oracle card about flow. Let me move this over a little bit. This woman had a sacred destiny. And she was the beautiful goddess Boan. She walked three times around the sacred well. And the well churned up and enveloped her. And she was actually subsumed into the water element. Oops, pardon me, spirit. And by so doing, when she was working with the energy, the flow, she turned literally into a river. And along that river that flows still in the Boyne Valley in Ireland. Okay, my guys are saying arranged themselves. A lot of the very most sacred sites in Ireland grew up along this energy, this river, this flow of love energy. Something very fabulous is happening, beautiful Libra. So we've got the full moon coming. There you are sitting with your sweetheart. Balance. Balancing this intense flow of energy that is causing you to evolve. And something is bubbling up from within you, coming up to the surface. This whale medicine is about the sacred library that is carried within whale, one of the most ancient creatures of the deep, the water element. Ooh, Libra, this is really gorgeous. Hang on, i got to move the camera back a little, I think. There we go. So as you come forward and you move through the month, at the midpoint of the month, you are going to experience some activation when the new moon comes forward. Do you see underneath the uh, moon there, there's a portal coming through? The energy touches the stone. That is the Leah Fail, the stone of destiny. And we see more Fessa, the guardian of the sacred places. This is the ace of pentacles. So this knowledge that's flowing up from within you and coming into balance by the help of this sacred partner that's coming forward for you and more may be already in your life, 
Something's going to take a turn. Destiny's coming forward. All the aces are prophecies, actually, if you think about it. So this is about spiritual activation and self actualization, touching the stone of destiny within the flow of the energy that's coming forward in the month of March. Thank you, Spirit. Something really beautiful happening just in your human life. And the energy that moves this forward, look, that is the high priestess. Secrets are going to be revealed to you. And from within you, because of this buffalo and this whale medicine, and the way you hang yourself upside down in the sacred tree of Odin, to have a vision, something really intense is going to flow into you, and it is, of course, going to affect your lover, your family, etc. So that is about coming into some very sacred, very secret knowledge being revealed to you. That's the Ten of Cups. It's going to be all about the flow of love energy in your life and the quest for the Ten of Cups moment. And we're talking about from within you, definitely with a partner, but it's coming from within you while you have this sacred vision and you come into the flow of this energy right there. Look at that. Beautiful. So the high priestess in this deck is the guardian of truth and the guardian of the sacred gateway. That's where you're going. So come over and join us in uh, at Patreon. For the extended read, reading, pardon me, because we're going to go through this a little deeper. And I'm going to, we're going to talk about whale and buffalo, things like that, so that you will understand in a little more detail. So in this way, in the month of March, you are going to follow the energy. Thank you, Spirit. This is the strength card. In, the, in this deck, it's called the Empowerer of Will. So that's another sacred goddess who, like Boan, she actually was a figure in history. She did exist. And she came to victory because she followed the energy. She would bring a rabbit in a basket to the battleground. And she was a Celtic woman. She rose in insurrection against the Roman army when they were rampaging across Europe. And she routed them several times. And she did it by bringing the hare she would wait till the, the troops were amassed on the battlefield. She would open the basket and watch how it ran across the field. And that would give her some sacred divination energy to help her understand how to prevail. So this is your strength in the month of March, is to just go literally with the flow. Go with the flow of the energy. It's going to take you right into the temple, beautiful Libra. And then something's going to happen. You're going to have this activation. This, this is the prophecy of the month. That's you standing in your energy. So you are going to have some type of sacred shift and change by following this energy. That's why you're in the hanged man position. I love that. Thank you, Spirit. So please give us a little more energy. Yeah, look. There's your and your sacred partner. Okay, three of cups. There are going to be no more obstacles. If you are having some challenges, or you're trying to bring this relationship into form because you've met someone, or you've reached a point of growth in the relationship that exists in your life, all the blockages are going to be removed, and you're going to actually be able to connect like that. That's what you want, Libra. You want balance in your love relationship, don't you? So something really beautiful, beautiful, and mysterious. Let's get one more card. Ask the guides, please give us one more piece of information to help us understand. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Look. Thank you. That is fabulous. Okay, that is the beautiful goddess Coventina. She is the sacred alchemist. This is the temperance card. Do you see yourself in that vessel? See the energy bubbling up? That's you, Libra, because of this journey that you're going on. And, of course, it's going to affect your love life, your family, the guardian of the soul family. While you go deep, you're going to rededicate yourself, some of you, to your life in general. As a simple human being, my guides are saying, it's going to be a very spiritual month. There's going to be a lot of healing. You're going to feel this type of energy and intention and desire flowing through you. That's why the Knight of Wands is here. It's going to feel very, you're going to be very passionate about it. And certainly about your desire 
to manifest love in your house, in your, oh my God, I just said in your house, love in your house. All right, thank you, spirit. You're going to have to go have an audience with the high priestess in order to finish this quest, Ten of Cups. To see how the energy flows literally from the page of cups straight in a river of energy to the high priestess to have an audience to go into the temple to finish this Ten of Cups quest for this type of love. And you're going to be able to connect to the sacred consciousness of the love energy that flows through the air element in these days. And it's good. that's what you're going to be all about. That's what my guides are saying. So, beautiful Libra, um, that's a wrap for right now. Come join us on Patreon. I would love to have your support and click the like button and subscribe and hit the bell and all that stuff, okay? And I will see you over there to finish out this reading and see a little bit more detail about what's going on. I look forward to seeing you next month. Thanks, Libra. Enjoy the full moon. It's going to be spectacular for you.